Hello and welcome to the Garage Series. My name is Jeremy Chapman. I'm Christoph Feisinger. So Christoph, today we have a great show in store. We're going to talk about Yammer, Enterprise Social, and more. Yeah, basically what this is about is the way you stay in touch with friends, the way you communicate, or the way you find maybe your next job hasn't really made it back to the enterprise. And we want to be able to enable enterprises to really work like a network as we do in our personal lives. Yeah, this is all about helping you be agile and breaking down barriers across communication channels, across collaboration. And just plain old getting work done. So we're going to talk about this one more, but first, let's have a look at our trivia question. Groups are defined and managed from which source? Is it A, SharePoint, B, Yammer, or C, Active Directory? So stay tuned for the answer at the end of the show. Christoph, how should we be thinking about Enterprise Social? Well, basically the idea is that, again, social should be woven in the tool you use to do work every day. So around that, there's actually three pillars that we're working on to deliver on this notion of working as a network. Right, because it's more than just going to Yammer and having conversations in a single destination. The things like the Office Graph, it really weaves it across all of Office 365, right? Yes. Again, we've done a full show on the Office Graph. But it's all about giving you insights, signals, about what everyone's doing in your organization, what everyone's doing in your team. Right. The second thing we're doing is what we're calling inline social experiences. And again, it's all about bringing social to that task I'm working at hand. And you'll see that later when we do a demonstration. Right. And then the third concept is really about breaking application silos. It's about doing a seamless integration between mail, SharePoint, and social. So groups is really core in terms of the enterprise social and our, and our capabilities with, with Yammer and across the entire stack. Why don't you explain how we use groups and where, they, where, they're, where they're actually stored? So basically, again, the idea is to break silos and bring together a set of applications that you mm -hmm. use to get work done. So the first thing that we probably all used to, uh, to using every day is Exchange or Think of Mail that right. we have today in the enterprise. Okay. The second set of services and application that we have is obviously SharePoint for document storage. Mm -hmm. And then the third one is, again, to converse, which is Yammer. Now, the, again, okay. the idea of groups is to unify people, our colleagues, across those different services and workloads. And it means a lot more than just having kind of links across an eyebrow of a, of a browser page to get SharePoint Mail and or, Mail, SharePoint, and Yammer together. It's really about taking the directory service and integrating that, right? Yes. So, I mean, basically groups is a concept we've learned from Yammer that we replicated across the suite. Okay. So to do that, because again, the trick is to have a seamless identity on a set of membership across those different services that we're using to get work done. Right. So basically, we've created a layer on top of services, and a group is really managed in Active Directory. Okay. And you get a set of members. A group can be it's public by default or private, and those members are managed across the services. So that group that you define that stays in Active Directory then is basically replicated across Exchange, SharePoint, and Yammer, so I don't have to define that over and over again across all those different Correct. experiences. And then the other thing is, you'll see later in the demo, it doesn't matter the starting point, but it's managed and replicated across all those services. That sounds really great. Let's see some of this in action. Let's do it. So the first demonstration is about inline social experiences. So let's get started. So basically, what you're looking at is my OneDrive for business, my personal storage, and you see I've got a different set of documents in my uh, OneDrive. The first thing I'm going to open is this presentation that I was working on at SharePoint Conference okay. last month. So I click on that presentation, and you can see on the left-hand side, it's doing a high-fidelity rendering thanks to PowerPoint Online. And on what the you, right, I see a Yammer conversation. Yeah, so what I did is I co-presented with my colleague Steve. So I'd started a conversation with Steve, and you can see he actually just reply that he provided an update to the document. Excellent. Now, like I say, it's all about bringing that side by side. I don't have to go to a destination to interact and engage with my colleagues. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go back to my OneDrive. Mm -hmm. And I will illustrate the point that this notion of conversation is not just for an office document. So here I'm going to pick a video that we showed at the uh, SharePoint conference keynote. OK. 
Okay. Now again, you get that same concept, this beautiful video that actually illustrates the work as a network. And on the right hand side, I've engaged with my peers to get feedback and to announce this video. And you can see the number three is, basically I've started different conversation in different groups within my team and within my organization. It's really great. So you got Video Player also, which is new here as well. And again, the beauty here is in context, I'm watching this video and I'm getting near real time feedback. In this case, my colleague Katie, that mm -hmm. I didn't even specifically know, gave me great feedback about this video. Well, because this was open, she was able to see that you posted it and started a conversation on it. She checked out the video and she liked it and actually put in a, a piece of feedback. Yeah, again, the beauty is I get that side by side, the asset, that deliverable I'm working on, and I can engage with my team directly with conversation fired by Yammer. But it gets even better, right? There's even more things that we can show. So let's show you next this concept of groups. And what you're looking at here is I'm in Office 365 in Yammer, and you can see I belong to different communities, different groups. Now I'm going to click on the product launch group, and you can see I got conversation, and I got a set of colleagues that I put in that product launch group. Now let's look at the Outlook angle of the group. So I've clicked on Outlook, and you can see on the bottom left hand side those same communities, those same groups that you are seeing in Yammer. So again, let's double click on the product launch group. And you're going to see, when I pick a conversation, the exact same conversation that I was showing you earlier in Yammer. Now, like we mentioned, it goes beyond that. And what I've done next is, is this notion of calendaring. So you can see here in blue, my personal calendar, and in green, an overlay of that group calendar. So it's very seamless. I know when we have the daily meeting. I know when we've got a key launch for that group. And I can do that for all the groups I belong to. This is really exciting. So you've defined the groups in one spot. They've replicated across all these different workloads. And I think you didn't even mention that Yammer was part of the normal browsing experience underneath the same eyebrow. It didn't even launch another unique tab or a unique browser window. So all this integration is really exciting to see. But we're at the SharePoint conference. So why don't you show SharePoint? Absolutely. So again, we've, it's not just about mail on Yammer. So what I've done now is I'm going to get the group properties and I'm going to click on sites. Okay. And yes, SharePoint is the repository for all the documents for this group. So you can see here at the center, I get a set of documents. And you can think of all the experiences I was showing you earlier of having conversation in documents also being available here. Right. But instead of showing that to you again, I want to illustrate the notion again to what I was starting with, which is this notion of membership. So I'm going to okay. click on the group members, and you can see that the same set of individuals, the same identities and users that I had in Yammer, that I had in Outlook, in my calendar, I also here in SharePoint. Really great. So we just saw all the groups being defined in one space. We've got joint calendaring, we've got joint inboxes, even if I wanted to have notifications coming to my phone because I've got all the great Exchange Active Sync support, all of it's woven together, really, really cool stuff. You know, these are great demos, thank you. That's about all the time we have to see today. But before we end, let's have a look at today's trivia. Groups are defined and managed from which source? Is it A, SharePoint, B, Yammer, or C, Active Directory? So of course the answer was C, we use Active Directory groups to manage the groups in Office 365. Yes, as I mentioned earlier, the first concept of a group is unifying people. And to do so, that's why we're storing an Active Directory, so you have the same identities and membership across Exchange, across SharePoint, and across Yammer. And it's really exciting to see all of this woven in throughout Office 365, but I have to ask you a question, when do I get to be able to start using some of this stuff? And basically, some of that innovation is going to start coming in in the spring, in the summer, and onward. We're going to be moving very fast with this innovation. Great. And we're moving so fast, we encourage everybody to keep checking back to the office blogs and also on the garage on Wednesdays. So that's about all the time we have for today. Thank you for watching, and goodbye for now.